Is obedience legalism? You know, that's what some people charge whenever you speak about obedience, as I oftentimes do if you've listened to the, to the messages. You find that people say, well, you're, you're just a legalist. You're trying to save yourself. And the Lord tells us that there are times whenever that has happened. In the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, you find where he talks about the Israel of old. And he says, uh, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. He says, I bear them record. They have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. And he says that being ignorant of God's righteousness, they went about to establish their own righteousness. They made up laws and such that they thought should be observed. But the fact is, God does command obedience. In the book of Hebrews, the fifth chapter, in verse 9, we find that Christ is the author of eternal salvation to those that obey him. Does that mean that we're saving ourselves? No. According to Jesus, it means that we love him. John 14 and verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. According to Jesus, it's that we're a friend of his. John 15 and verse 14, you're my friend if you do whatsoever I've commanded you. It means that we look to him as Lord. Luke 6 and verse 46, he says, why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? He even said in Matthew 7, 21, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Well, some people say, well, you're back to just teaching that you're going to save yourselves. Well, in one sense you do, because God has given everything. He so loved the world. He so loved you and I that he gave his son, John 3 and verse 16. But he asked, do you love me? You see, I respond. And in that sense, I seek out that salvation that is freely offered to those who will come unto him. You say, well, isn't that saving yourselves, though? In the book of Luke, the 17th chapter, in verse 10, there's a principle given by the Lord. He says, Whenever you've done all those things that are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We've simply done that which is our duty to do. Yeah, obedience is essential. It's a response of love, of friendship, of lordship. It's a response of somebody that's seeking to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We'd like to study this more with you. If you'd like, let's let us know. We'll be happy to communicate with you. Thank you for listening.